All right, let's kick things off in the ocean. It's where God got the idea for Jake Gyllenhaal's eyes. For people who work the seas, life is filled with countless dangers. There's drowning, getting impaled by a fishing hook, or getting tricked out of your voice by an octopus lady. But now, one Massachusetts fisherman has discovered a whole new safety hazard. This morning, a Cape Cod lobster man is telling the ultimate whale tale. A man says he was nearly eaten by a whale, but then he lives to tell the story, and here's how it goes. This is lobster diver Michael Packard. He says he was briefly swallowed by a humpback whale near Cape Cod. Packard estimates he was inside the whale's mouth for about 30 seconds before it spit him out. I was thrown from his mouth. He, he was shaking his head trying to eject me out of his mouth. Some are dismissing the story as a fish tale, but experts are explaining how it's very much possible. Oh, boring. A whale swallowed you and spit you out, big deal. If you wanna impress me, you come out the other end. And you know, I'm sure this guy is glad that he's alive, but on some level, he's gotta feel bad, you know? I mean, cause whales eat anything and it still spit you out? That's gotta bruise your ego a little bit, you know, to know that you're the human equivalent of black licorice, Wow. And a lot of people are questioning whether this story actually happened. People are saying it couldn't have happened. People are saying his injuries are fake. People, look, no one really knows. You know, maybe whales swish humans around and spit them out like people do at a wine tasting. Mm -hmm. I'm getting hints of Boston. But if you ask me, there's a decent chance that this dude is just trying to cover up the fact that he was having an affair with a whale. Yeah, you know, he came home smelling like whale one night and shit went down. No, honey, it's not what you think. A whale tried to eat me. Oh, really? Then what about this voicemail on your phone? The best night of her life? Explain that, Jerry! Let's move on now to the coronavirus pandemic. It's that guest at a house party who just won't leave. We are now entering month 18 of the pandemic. And once again, there is good news and badder news. This morning, a new vaccine is showing promising results. Novavax releasing data from phase three clinical trials, saying its COVID vaccine's overall efficacy reached 90% and is 100% effective in preventing moderate and severe disease. The vaccine approval news comes as a troubling variant first discovered in India is spreading rapidly around the world. Experts believe it is the most infectious yet and may be associated with an increase in severity. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is expected to push back plans to lift lockdown restrictions in his country due to the spread of the highly contagious Delta COVID-19 variant. Lockdown restrictions were originally to end in the UK on June 21st, but the opening up could be delayed for up to four weeks. Oh, damn it, coronavirus, just stay down. Why would you just stay down? Oh, this virus has had more reboots than Godzilla. And this variant sounds like it might be the worst of them all which is why I'm surprised that they named it Delta and not Spirit. Seriously though, people, they really need to work on the names of these new COVID strains because the Delta variant doesn't sound serious. It sounds like a straight to DVD action film starring Steven Seagal. It's what Netflix suggests you watch because they don't have any of the Jason Bourne movies. On the plus side though, and this was the good news I was telling you about, we might be getting a brand new effective vaccine soon. And this new vaccine is different because it doesn't use the new mRNA technology that some people don't trust, which is great because now anti-vaxxers will have to come up with a whole new bullshit excuse not to get it. Ah, hashtag winning.